That was close. This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. Information of a possible nuclear strike against... Attack warning red. Attack warning red. Seek immediate shelter. Seek immediate shelter. Attack warning red. Attack warning red. Welcome to the Jack and Lorgo series and shut up, today we're going to Essex! Calvin Hatch Nuclear Bunker is a vast bunker hidden deep underground. It was built in 1952 at the height of the Cold War and was decommissioned in 1992. It was maintained during the Cold War as a potential regional government headquarters. The bunker was first built as an air defence station as part of the RAF's Rota Air Defence Project. The idea was that when a nuclear attack came to Britain, 600 people, mainly being military and civilian personnel, could find refuge deep in the bowels of its claustrophobic location. It even has a BBC radio station, which could have been used to broadcast updates and keep in touch with the outside world. When the nuclear threat was no more, the bunker was sold back to the family who originally owned the land. It is now a popular tourist attraction and a Cold War museum and also a paranormal hotbed. Looks can be deceiving. Hidden 125 feet underground in this bungalow next to me are dark and twisting corridors where 600 people would have stayed. There's a story that when the place was being built, concrete was poured into it day and night to create the walls. They found that a builder mysteriously disappeared, and all they found of him was his hat. The rumour goes that the man was buried in the walls. Staff and guards would have been looking after this bunker 24-7. It's said that these staff and guards returned to carry on with their daily duties. A dark and evil figure has been seen in the stairwell. It's said to rise up and make the area pitch black. The bunker is supposedly built on the site of a Roman burial ground. Could this evil figure come from that ground? I'm here in the sick bay and it's here where the most activity takes place. Dark shadows have been seen flitting back and forth, and mediums have sensed an evil presence which could be responsible for the dread that people feel. A disembodied voice has been heard on more than one occasion telling people to go back. A grey figure has been seen moving from room to room. She's described to be an unusually tall old lady. When people follow her, they find out there's no one there. The frightening apparition of an RAF officer has been seen on numerous occasions. To the unlucky person, she appears out of nowhere and screams for them to go. People have reported stone throwing, growling and loud bangs coming from different types of rooms. Again, when somebody goes in to investigate, there is nobody there. They say that if you're a serious ghost hunter, Kelvedon Hatch is the one place you have to come to, and we're here. So Laura, what do you think of this location? It's creepy. I think it's the creepiest place we've been to so far. I know, I know I've said that every place we go, but I think it really is the scariest place. There's um, a lot of mannequins, a lot of um, figurines, like dark, long tunnels and corridors. So. Perfect place, really. 
What room do you think will be the most active? In the sick bay, which a lot of paranormal groups have got a lot of activity and they think it's the most active, or the really long corridor. That looks quite a creepy place as well, quite atmospheric. It's quite cold down there as well. The man who likes a really good drink goes by the name of Charlie. Can you come forward? Would you like to come say hello? Well, I'm looking to my right. That's where you normally are, right down the end. Come forward from there, please. The actual um, Saxon's been seen here. This is where he knocked the camera out of hand. Oh, I see. As yeah. well. Okay. This guy, Charlie, uh, is the only known death in this place. Is this the one with the concrete? Yeah, he fell into the concrete while he was being poured. So they couldn't retrieve him? Mm, don't think they did. Oh, I think they only realised afterwards. So he might still be under here somewhere. Yeah. Imagine how thick the concrete is. Oh, yeah. Especially with more floors. Yeah, could be deeper down still. Yeah. So I don't know where we'll ask. Well, you can't stop the Saxon coming through anyway, but I didn't know where we'll ask for him anymore. Because he would get a bit overpowering. You can sometimes hear the horn in here as well. No, I've never seen anyone else. This is Charlie. Yeah, yeah. You might get some in the tunnel, but again, oh. was that footsteps. It's not you making that noise. No, it was footsteps. Two footsteps. I thought it was um, under my feet. Yeah, it was. Yeah. No, it was underneath where we're sitting. Ah. Or going across this platform, which it shouldn't do because it's not. Oh, mm -hmm. is that someone coming in? Me. Who's just come in? You know, after you finish talking, yeah. I thought you'd like another like man's voice like carrying along after you. Okay. 